Part two of this course is concerned with data acquisition. Before conducting an analysis, you must first acquire your data. This can be done through manual creation, importing pre-constructed data, or even leveraging APIs. This section is gonna be broken into three chapters. The first chapter is included data sets. R comes with a variety of built-in data sets. This chapter will teach you how to view the catalog of included data sets, preview individual data sets, and begin working with that data. The second chapter is going to be how to import data from spreadsheets. Most R users will have to work with spreadsheets at some point in their careers. This chapter will teach you how to import data from spreadsheets, such as a CSV or an XLSX file and get the imported data into a format that's easy to work with. And then the last chapter is working with APIs. API stands for Application Programming Interface. These sorts of tools are commonly used to programmatically pull data from a third-party resource. This chapter will demonstrate how you can begin to leverage those tools in your own workflows. R comes with a variety of data sets already built in. This first chapter will teach you how to view a complete catalog of those included data sets preview individual data sets, then begin working with that data. We'll also cover some of the most commonly used data sets. You can view the complete list of data sets available along with a brief description for each one by typing data into your console. So let's try that out. Oops. Okay. So this will open up a new tab in your RStudio instance that looks similar to mine. We can see that we have a column with all of the data set names, and then we've got a brief description right next to them. The first step to begin working with your chosen data set is to load it into your environment by using the data function with the quoted name of your data set inside the parentheses. Uh, in this next example, we'll attach the iris data set to our environment. So let's use the data function, quotes, iris. We can see that we have this attached to our environment. Now, just as a side note, it may not be necessary for you to load your data set via the data function prior to using it. Additionally, some data sets may require you to add them to your search path by using the attach function. Conversely, you can remove data sets from your search path by using the detach function, but you shouldn't need to worry about any of that right now. So now that we have the iris data set attached, let's preview it with the head function. So we'll say head iris. Now we can see we get a, a preview of our data set. So it prints out the first few rows along with the columns. So we have column name, sepal.length, and so on with all the values. Finally, you can view more information about any given data set by typing its name into the help tab in the files pane. So let's say iris. And this will give us uh, a more comprehensive set of information about the data set. All right, before we wrap this section up, let's just review a few of the more commonly used data sets uh, used in the R community for both practicing and teaching. So you'll probably come across these a bit more in your career. So let's start with MT cars. So this has some, some car data in it. Um, let's try faithful. This is data about the old faithful geyser and its eruptions. We've also got the chick weight data set. And then the classic data set, oops, not classic, uh, is the Titanic. And that's it.